Welcome back. I hope you are ready for the second part of our lesson. Now let us look at our concept. Remember you said the first concept that we'll be looking at will be understanding the concept of the tariff systems. Now, firstly, remember in, in mathematical literacy, we start by terminology. So you should be knowing and understand what your terminology mean to you. So now looking at the tariff system, it is a rate charged for a service rendered, or you can simply say it's a cost per unit. And also when you work with the tariff system, you need to check if the costs given to you are in cents or in rents. So now you should be able to convert, move around between these two, not uh, forgetting that when you convert from cents, um, Sorry, let me change that to white. So when you convert from cents to rents, what do you do? You multiply. And when you convert from rents to cents, you divide your values. And also you'll have to check if the cost given to you includes VAT or excludes VAT. Now, we are going to be looking at the types of the tariff system that we will be working with. Firstly, we will work with the water tariffs, whereby water tariffs are measured in kiloliters and also the electricity tariffs. So they are also um, have their own unit. They don't use the same unit as in water tariffs. They are using the kilowatts and these two uh, tariffs, the water and the electricity tariffs are always, or it's possible that in most cases they'll be given as in a sliding scale or they'll be given as in intervals. You'll see as you go through the questions. And then the second tariff would be the transport tariff. So the tra transport tariff will also uh, differ the charges will also differ from each service provider to the other, as well as the cell phone and the tariff system. So these are the tariff systems that we will be looking at under this topic. Right, so now the next concept we are looking at, it's whereby now we are calculating using the tariffs given as well as the formula. Now, when we calculate a, a water tariff, water tariff, we have said the units will be in kiloliters. And in water tariff, in most cases, the first six kiloliters, they could be six or it could be seven. So it will depend on the given context. So you must always be relevant and look at the given context. So now the government gives the first six kiloliters to accommodate the household with low or no income. Because why now? Water is a basic need. Now, let us look at the first example. Firstly, another thing that you need to know is to be able to identify the type of tariff that you are working with, looking at the given context. Now, when you look at this, you will see the kiloliters. So now you know that I'm working with water tariff. Now, remember at all times when you start calculating anything or answering any question, you need to study what is given before you, the context, understand everything that is given to you. So in this case, we are looking at this. We know now that we are working with water tariff because we are given kiloliters. And then we also check the first block we are given one two three and four we call that block a category or a bracket so now the second one it's whereby now remember i've said to you these tariffs the water and the electricity tariff will be given as a sliding scale or as an interval so this is what we call an interval or sliding scale from zero to six from six to thirty from thirty to sixty as they continue so now it means that they are a continuation from what is given from above as well as the cost. You can see that the first six kiloliters I have mentioned, it's for free to accommodate those households with no income or less income. And the cost, remember we have said, we must start by checking if the costs are given in rents or in cents. So in this case, they are given in rents. Going down, we can also see that it says VET exclusive, meaning all these costs does not include VET. Now, we are, we are done with what we are given as our context. Now we go to calculations. Now, 
we are to calculate the cost, including that of using 36 kiloliters of water. Now, let us go to our table and calculate the total cost of using those kiloliters. So now, block number one, let me change to black so we can see, block number one, meaning it's this one. So we are given that the first six kiloliters, it's for free. So now, firstly, I'm going to write my six kilo liter. So if something is for free, meaning it's zero rent, then carefully look at how we calculate moving downwards. Now, you are going to only consider the values on your right uh, when you work with your sliding scale, meaning you are going to be looking at these values on your right. So these ones, we forget about them. They are on our left. We are only concentrating on these ones on our right. So now because this is a sliding scale, meaning it's a continuation from what is given from above, we are going to say 30 minus 6. Because this 6, we have already taken it out from above. So we cannot say it's 30, the, the kiloliters that we are taking here. So we must subtract them from the six above because we have already taken it out. Here it is, and they are saying it's for free. Then when you say 30 minus six, you, you are getting what, 24. So now, so 30 minus six, you have what, 20? four kiloliters. So now, uh, again, you will have to add these two and see if you have reached your 36. So now if you say six plus 24, it gives you 30. You are still needing what a six. So meaning we are going to continue with block number two by multiplying with the given cost. Then we go to block number three, because in block number two, we can only take 24. But we still need how many? Six. So it means we are going to go to block number three. Now, when we get to block number three, it says 60 and 30. So meaning when you say 60 minus 30, it gives you 30 and we only need six. So the golden rule is when you get to the last block or the block whereby you are getting more than what you need, just take only what you need. So now how many do we need? We only need six. So we are only going to take six kiloliters where from block number three. So you say multiply by 12 rand 28. There we are. So adding all these kiloliters, they must give you 36. So you say 6 plus 24 plus 6, it gives us 36. So now we are done with our kiloliters. So now we need to work out our total. So we have 0 rent because they've said it's for free. Then when we say 24 multiplied by 10 rent, 2 cent, it will give you uh, 240 rent, 40 eight right so now when you multiply your six kiloliters by 12 rand 28 so this will give you 73 rand 63 cents but now you are not yet done because you still have to work out the total to be paid so now working out your total you will have your zero rand the first six plus your 240, 48, plus 73 rand 63. So this gives you a total amount of, adding all those values, it gives you 314 rand 11 cents. But now this amount excludes VAT. You still need to multiply the total amount you'll be paying, including VAT. So you can simply take this 314 rand 11 cents, multiply by 115 over 100 to find your VAT inclusive amount. So this will give you 361.23 cents. So now as you can check, this amount is less, meaning VAT is not 
included and this one it is more so meaning the vet has already been included now let us move to the next question so now recognizing the tariff system we are working with this one we are working with an electricity tariff so an electricity tariff we have said it will be measured in kilo what's so now looking at this we have our blocks one up to four we have our sliding scale we have the cost it's given in cents because it says cents per kilowatt so meaning all these values are given in cents and when we look down on our table it says all costs are vet exclusive meaning vet it's not included looking at the question Calculate the cost, including VET, of using 211 kilowatts. Now, let us calculate the total cost of using 211. We go to our first block, and when we look at our first block, it says from 0 to 150. So, meaning we are having 150 kilowatts multiplied by 61,7. Eight. So in this case, the first block is not for free. There's an amount that is allocated on the first block. Now, remember, we have said to calculate the number of kilowatts, we must look at the values on our right because it's a sliding scale. So moving along to the next block, saying 350 minus 150. So it gives you what? You can work that out so now so that you can have the next block so you will need what on the next block you will need only 61 so on the next block because it gives you more you can simply take only what you need and you only need 61 so uh, the next block we are only taking 61 so change to white so we are taking 61 kilowatts and that should be multiplied by 92.50 cents. Then we're adding these two. So we have 150 plus 61. So they should be giving us 211 kilowatts. So now let us multiply that out. 150 multi multiplied by 61,78 cents. It will give you 92,607 cents. And moving along to the next block, 61 multiplied by 99,50. So it will give you 5,000 six hundred and forty two comma five cents now uh, working out our total it means we are going to be adding these two values so we have nine two nine two six seven cents plus five six for 2.5 cents. So this in total, it gives us 14,909, 14,909,5. Remember, this is in cents. You need to convert this cents to rents because you cannot be paying in cents. We are paying in rents in South Africa. So meaning you are going to divide by a hundred so this will give you a total amount of 149 rand 10 cents rounding that up 10 cents so now looking at our tables down there it says that exclusive so it simply means take your answer multiply it by 115 over a hundred to include that so in total you'll be paying 171.46 cents including that just before we go to the next question let us look at the first step there where we have said 150 multiplied by 61.78 cents uh, it should be 9,267 cents. Right, so now we are moving along to our transport tariff. So a transport tariff will also depend on the service that will be charged by the service provider and it will be determined by the distance that a customer 
will travel. Now looking at the given context or the, our table, we are given the distances in kilometers and it says to us up to including uh, 50 kilometers, you'll be paying a cost of 1,300 and you can read through the sliding scales. Now, let us try and answer the questions based on the transport tariff. Number A, determine the cost of traveling four to five kilometers, as well as calculate the cost of traveling the same distance as a return trip. Right, let us look at number A. Determine the cost of traveling 45 kilometers. So now we are going to go to our given table and check where it will be our 45 kilometers. So the first block, it says to us up to including 50 kilometers. So we'll be paying 1,300. So when you look at this given distance, it's 45. So it means it is within the first block, meaning this person could be paying 1,300 for traveling 45 kilometers. Then number B, calculate the cost of traveling the same distance. Same distance, it means we have our 45 kilometers as a return trip. Return trip meaning to and from. So that is why we are going to say 45 multiplied by two because it's to and from. So we are going to have a total distance of 90 kilometers as our return trip. Now you go back to the given table. So you go to the next block. It says between 50 and 100 kilometers. So now meaning when you travel 90 kilometers, you will be paying a total amount of 1,700. So now if you will be traveling more than 100 kilometers, it means now they will start charging you on the third block, whereby you'll be paying 1,700 as a standard rate, plus 15 rand for each kilometer, you'll be traveling over 100 kilometers. Right, now we are looking at our next tariff, whereby we will be talking of a cell phone tariff. So now the length of time you spend on your cell phone will determine the amount to be paid by you. This amount will be shown on your cell phone bill. So we have two types of cell phone tariffs. In this case, we will be looking at a prepaid as well as a contract. So we have two formulas that we use for these two. So for a prepaid, it's whereby now you will take the tariff and multiply it by the number of minutes used. And when you are looking at your contract, there'll be a subscription fee that you'll be paying, a standard one, whether you have used or you have not used the given minutes, plus the tariff multiplied by the total number of minutes and they will also subtract or they will give you free minutes. Right, let us look at the first example, the prepaid. So for a prepaid, for number A, looking at number A, if a cost of a minute is charged at two rand and 35 minutes were used by this customer, calculate the total cost to be paid. So you have your formula there, it's given to you, it says tariff multiplied by the number of minutes used. So the given tariff here is two rand. So you're going to multiply that by the number of minutes used. So in this case, we have used 35 minutes. So this will give you a total amount of working that out, meaning you'll be paying 70 rent for using how many minutes? 35. Number B, it's a contract. Um, tariff. So now a recruiting agency has a contract that has a subscription fee of 180 rand and usage is charged 80 cent per minute with 150 free minutes, meaning these ones they are given for free to you. The agency has used 350 for a month of April, calculate the monthly fee to be paid. So looking at your formula, there is our formula, it's given up there. It says subscription fee, so meaning we were going to say cost is equal to the subscription fee, it's 180 rand plus um, 80 cents. 
So this will be multiplied by the total number of minutes used by this company. So they have used 30, three, sorry, 350 minutes and they will be given 150 free minutes. So now when you work that out to find the total amount to be paid by this customer, you simply punch it as to add and multiply these other three values, you will have 340 rand, meaning this company will be paying that total amount. Right, so now that's it for now. Let us go for a quick ad break and we'll be right back.